What's good, everybody? Today we're talking about the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to go over two key problems and situations. So we know the Pythagorean theorem formula. And some key things we need to know is that this only works with right triangles. And the hypotenuse, which is the longest side, is always opposite of the right angle. Now, when we talk about A and B, guys, if we get this wrong or we flip them around, we'll still get the problem right. However, the biggest thing is just to make sure we correctly identify C. So in this problem, the radicals is what's going to make this harder to solve than normal, right? So we have 5 squared, or radical 5 squared, plus x squared is equal to 3 radical 5 squared. Now, it's very important to know that when we square a radical, guys, the answer is just a number under the radical by itself. So this would be 5 plus x squared is equal to 45. So when we look at radical 5 times radical 5, guys, that's going to give us radical 25. That's a perfect square, which is 5, right? Same thing here. So this turns out to be 5 times 3 squared. 3 squared is just 9. So we go through now. We simplify this. We're going to get x squared is equal to 40. And to get rid of this exponent now, we're going to do the, we're going to take the square root of it, right? And once I do that, we are now left with x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 40. Just remember, guys, that if we square a negative, it, it, it will turn positive, guys. So that's why we have two answers. But when we break this radical down now, Right, this is going to turn into 4 times 10, and we know that 4 is a perfect square. So once we simplify, we would have x is equal to plus or minus 2 radical 10. So this would be our final answer. And just remember, if they asked us to solve and find the length, then we would only have the positive answer because we know that length cannot be negative. So we're moving on to problem number two now, guys. But before I move on, if you found problem number one helpful, we're going to ask that you guys smash the like button for us. It really helps with us getting our videos to other people, and we want to help as much people as possible. So in this, guys, this is just a, a regular problem where we have A and we have B. We're trying to solve for C. So we have radical 5 squared plus radical 7 squared, and this is equal to c squared. So what this turns out to be is 5 plus 7 is equal to c squared. When we combine these two, we're going to get 12 is equal to c squared. Once we take the uh, square root of both sides, we're going to get radical 12 is equal to c. But we're not done with this problem because we could break this radical down more. So if we come right here and we break it down, right, we're going to have 4 times 3, but the perfect square of 4 changes, and it'll come out as 2 radical 3. So for this answer, guys, C is equal to plus or minus 2 radical 3. We really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Smash the like button for us. Leave any comments down below if you guys have questions. We'll definitely respond to you and try to explain it the best way possible. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on our Pythagorean Theorem and Radicals Review.